This is the 960 sliding door. It's got the standard frame as opposed to the 980, which has the wide one to simulate the uh, uh, French door. Uh, this one, this is the beige. It's available in the standard white. Um, these doors slide. You can see how easily they slide. They use stainless steel tandem rollers. There's two rollers on each assembly on each side, so a total of four rollers. They're stainless steel, and they allow this thing to glide real easy. You adjust these rollers. You can see on this piece, there's holes in here. These holes are inside down here at the bottom, and there's a screw in there, Phillips screw. When you screw that, when you tighten that screw, these rollers come down, which pushes the door up. So you can, you can, by tightening it, you raise the door. By loosening it, you lower the door. Ideally, you want these rollers to, to lift this door off of the track about a quarter of an inch or so, so it doesn't drag. But you don't want to crank it all the way up if you don't have to. You want to adjust just enough, because you want this to, when you close this, you want it to close evenly all the way down. Okay, and these come, your door will come with plugs that pop into this, these holes and, and hide these holes. This particular frame ha is a block frame. It's available in new construction with a nail fin, or you can get uh, three different choices of retrofit, the single wall thin fin, the dual wall, or you can get the brick molding fin, which is the three-quarter inch fin, and I recommend this brick mold. If this door is going on stucco, this is the best look, okay? And on the, on the locking mechanism, it's a, it's a double lock. It has a button here that when you close this door, if, if you don't close this door all the way, you won't be able to lock it. You'll know the door's not closed. This has to be completely closed so that that button gets pushed in, and then you can lock the door. The handle is available. The, if you get the beige, then obviously you get a beige handle. If you get a white door, it's going to come with a white handle. The options are you've got the rustic umber here, satin nickel, antique brass, polished brass, polished chrome. Those are the upgrades. This is the 980 French style sliding door. It's a slider and it's designed to imitate or simulate a French door with a wide frame around the glass. Uh, this particular one is a block frame, no fins. It's available in new construction with a nail fin or you can get the retrofit version with either the brick molding fin or you can get the standard single wall thin fin or the dual wall fin, any of those. Uh, if you're putting this on stucco, this is the way to go right here because this, this particular uh, upgrade is actually designed to simulate door molding. So when this is on your door, it just blends naturally on the outside. I, this is what I would recommend if these doors are going on stucco in a retrofit type installation. These, these doors slide real easy. Um, for m most models, you can push these with one finger. They use uh, tandem stainless steel rollers. So there's two rollers on each end, total of four rollers, and they're stainless steel. They, they uh, slide, as you can see, they slide real nice comes with, a, with a, a screen door standard. I don't have a screen door in the, in the sample here, but it comes with a screen door. The uh, handle comes, if you get the white door, the white frame, it's a standard white handle. It's available, like everything else, you can get the frame in, in beige. If you get the beige frame, then what they do is they, they give you, it's called rustic umber that would come standard in the beige frame. The, the four upgrades are, you can get uh, satin nickel, which is that one. You can get antique brass. Then they have polished brass and polished chrome. Those are handle upgrades.
All of the windows are available with three grid options. This is the wide sculptured grid. It's got some detail to it. You can see the ridges on it. It's an inch wide. And then the other one here is the narrower half inch flat grid. There's uh, no detail on these. It's just, just flat and plain. And the third one is the prism grid, which is a little pricier. And it's a, it's a prism tape designed to look like it's uh, been etched, the glass has been etched. Um, it's available, all three of these grids are available in any type, any style of window. Any, any of the grid types, the three grid choices are available in, also in different patterns. This is just a standard grid pattern where you've got the squares showing here. Um, this is an example of a diamond pattern where you can get the uh, grid shaped like a diamond. It's basically just a square turned sideways. And then you can also get a marginal grid pattern where the, instead of having a bunch of squares, the grids just go around the perimeter of the windows. And this is a six light pattern. If you were to order a nine light, you'd have one extra grid. This grid that's going across here would also be going across here. And this grid that's going across down here would also be going across here. That would be a nine light. This is a six light pattern.